we found out through a grapevine that there are three dollar burritos at Chipotle. Alright guys, well I look like crap and I'm so sorry it's because I really just woke up too early this morning to put makeup on, but I am now in Fort Lauderdale. I mentioned yesterday that I I'm last minute flying home. I am home, it is Sunday, and I'm here until Tuesday, so you guys will get to see some Florida footage. I am honestly so, so, so excited to be home. I cannot believe that I'm able to come home this weekend. I'm so excited. My plane was 25 minutes early though, and we live 25 minutes from the airport, so I texted my parents that I landed, and they're like, oh, we're just leaving, and I'm like, Okay, so I went to Starbucks. I needed coffee anyway, so I went and got my chai tea. Now I'm just sitting in the airport waiting for them. They should be here in about 10 minutes, so. Anyway, it's so good to be home. It's definitely hot here in South Florida, and there's no Hurricane Matthew. very famous bodybuilders that have come and filmed videos up at that gym. So that's fun. Do you want to know where it is? It's right across from the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale. Wow guys, great beach day. It's just so beautiful and sunny. I call this washing machine weather. Oh, this is so when it's super windy at the beach, the sand like hits us and it feels like pins, and it really is not okay. <laughs> I agree. My body has sand stuck in every crevice. <laughs> oh dear! Change of plan. We decided to get sushi instead because we couldn't stand the sand. So. such a ridiculously short trip but that was a quick but event. it was great to come home I really enjoyed the two days and it was nice it was... to have you home no oh, well I'm so glad I'm a little upset how cloudy it was yesterday I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit sunnier a little bit clearer yesterday but so here's the airport coming up to it there it is I always hate the going home part <laughs> So you enjoyed having me home? Yes, we did. I'm we gonna always... still gonna miss Finley more than you. Well, I know that. Finley's the reason why she came. That's just a given. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of secondary. Once you hit Halloween, it just goes. It's just it's time just it just flies so fast. Yeah. I a good time. had a great time here in Florida and now I'm on my way back to Nashville. So hopefully it's a safe flight and I think we made great timing also. It's 9.15 yes, and my flight leaves in like an hour, so we're good. Your dad is happy we're not late. I'm happy. <laughs> good. Oh my gosh, the security line is so short. This is going to be so easy.
Sephora haul for you guys. This is stuff that I actually have needed, but I've put it off because every time I've been to Sephora in the past like couple of months, I've been buying stuff that like is fun and stuff that I've been wanting to try out. And I've like forgotten to buy stuff that I actually need. So a couple days ago, I tweeted that I woke up and that scared me. A bag was touching my foot and I thought it was a creature. A couple mornings ago, I tweeted that I woke up and my foundation shade was way too dark for my current skin color and super depressing because that means that I've lost my tan. I needed to update my foundation. I use the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I've literally used this for like three years. It's been so long. I know that it doesn't break out my skin. It's oil free, it doesn't have SPF, so it doesn't wash me out on camera. It has like everything I needed a foundation and I kind of just stuck to that because, mainly because it doesn't break me out and I'm really trying to get my skin under control. But I actually haven't really been too happy with the consistency. <clears throat> Shut up, train. So Megan Rinks put out this uh, favorites video a couple weeks ago, and she mentioned this spa Spash box, Smash box foundation, and she was like raving about it. And I was like, okay, well, I guess this is a perfect opportunity for me to try it because I need a lighter foundation color. And also I kind of do want to try other foundations rather than just stick with one because I feel like there are a lot of other possibilities out there. So fingers crossed that this doesn't break my skin out, but this is the Smashbox Studio Skin. And actually today I went and the Smashbox rep was there. Like how cool is that? So she matched me perfectly and it was so funny. I went like a week ago to Sephora and I was looking at the shades and I picked 2.1 for my skin tone and I was like, oh, this is good, but like I need someone to like confirm that this is my color, but I was like, I'll just come back. So I did come back today and I talked to her and I was like, I think I'm 2.1 and she's like, oh no, 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 no. That's like way too light for your skin tone. So she pulled out like 2.3, 2.2 and they were both like way too dark for me. So she's like, oh my gosh, I think you're right. I think you are 2.1 and I was like, yeah, trust me. I know my skin really well. It seems like it's super light, but it like almost looks darker on my skin tone. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm excited to try this. She also gave me the photo finish primer because I feel like I need to have a primer too. She put it on my hand and the consistency is amazing. It's like almost all water. It's oil free. And she said that she has a similar problem to me as far as breakouts and neither of those, the foundation or the primer break her out. I also got another one of my Dolce & Gabbana perfumes. This is my favorite perfume. There were some other things that are on my list that I really wanna buy, but I'm gonna wait until next month's pay check to go back and get those. But I decided that I need to go to Sephora more often and start trying out new things because I like banned myself from makeup for a while because for some reason I thought it was like a waste of money, but it's not. This is what I do and this is what I love and I always wanna see what the new products are out there and I feel like there's so many possibilities for makeup and I always wanna try out new things. So I'm starting a list on my phone, which is probably dangerous because it's gonna be so long by next month. But little by little, I'm going to start growing my collection. So that's all I have. Have. my box is empty just wanted to show you that little Sephora haul guys tonight is a big night you know why why what who are we seeing tonight the chain smokers baby pull me closer I've never been to this auditorium but oh my god hey what's up people let's go we're crossing the street let's go I love him. <laughs> hey I got oh I got black <laughs> on my face uh -oh. on a real note though we are going to the chain smokers tonight oh, we're really excited Well guys, Natalie and I have a really bad exam tomorrow, but what are we doing instead? 
chapato. Good old chipotle. Do you look at the camera when you do this, or do you look at yourself? There it is. There's the camera. There I love is. that. We found out through a grapevine that there are three dollar burritos at Chipotle if we wear a costume. So here we are with our cat ears and face paint. What an off. And we're just delaying. I look like a ratchet. You can't get much more oh, white girl than this. True. true. About as basic as it gets. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> Your eyes and see how far you get.